Now, one thing, if you're familiar with other uh, programming languages, Python is different from some uh, languages in the sense that variables do not have a fixed type. In some languages, you have when you create a variable, you have to say what kind of thing it can hold. But in Python, variables can hold any type of object. And the way Python determines the type of the object that the variable holds is based on what you put into it. So if I put a string in here, it's going to be a, the, the variable called a variable is going to be a string. But if I put a number in, it's going to be an, an integer. And if I put a Boolean in, it's going to be a Boolean. And the type of this variable can change over time if I put different kinds of things in it. So this is, again, another source of error. If you have a variable that um, you put, let's say, a string into it, and then somewhere in your code, you're not thinking very carefully, and you use that variable name for a number. And then later on, you go back and you want to use the first value that you put in the string. Then you might get a, an error because you changed it from a string into a number, and maybe you're going to try to do some string operation that doesn't work with numbers. So this is actually another reason for trying to be as descriptive as possible. Um, Sometimes if I'm using variables that have very similar names, I will actually add an underscore and then say what kind of thing it is afterwards. So I could say like a variable underscore string and a variable underscore number. And then I'm able to keep track of whether that um, variable is holding a string or a number. Um, it, it doesn't force them to be strings or numbers as it would in a language where you declare the types of variables. But it's just a reminder to me what kind of thing should be in that variable. So let's go ahead and run this. And we can see that as we put a different kind of thing in that variable, it changes its type from string to integer to Boolean.